Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and what we're going to be looking at today and as a follow-up to some of our previous videos is the topology of a human shoulder. Previously we've looked at the topology of a human head and the hand and now I'd like to go ahead and look at the shoulder. The shoulder is one of the areas in the human body that has some very complex topology initially anyway but it's actually a lot simpler than it looks and it's an area that can be very troublesome for a lot of people. Uh, it varies a little bit from a low poly to a high poly shoulder but for the most part it's very much the same. And so what I've done is I've separated out the rest of the model from the shoulder because I just just want to focus on the shoulder today. And this is actually a just slightly modified shoulder model from the same one that you saw in the unwrapping a full female characters tutorial. It's the same shoulder model although I made a few tweaks to it. And then what I've done is I've gone in and highlighted in red, green, and blue a lot of the primary edge loops and face loops within this model. So let's take a look. First off, you'll notice that all of the, all of the face, face loops follow the structure of the muscles for the most part. So, you know, the primary muscles that we have are the shoulder area, the muscles coming in from the chest or the breast, Along here, we've got the biceps, the triceps, uh, we've got the, the areas between the muscles from the neck to the shoulder. So what you can see is that all of these different loops highlight those areas. So where we have muscles coming in from the neck and the shoulder, we have a loop that's separating those out. When we have muscles that are coming up from the chest area, we've got these loops coming in that are continuous along that shape since we have these muscles coming in like this, those loops continue on down around the back of the shoulder onto the back that allow us to get these shapes in here. Since a lot of times you'll see on a more muscular version or a mu more muscular person or when somebody lifts up their arm, the, the muscles that flow down along the back will pop out here. And this muscle structure with these loops going up allow you to push these areas out particularly right here, you get that pinching of the triceps. With the edge face flow like this, you're very easily able to add in a new loop here, a new loop here, here, in just about anywhere you need to very, very easily. And so what you can really see is that we have several in the blue and the red, we have these primary loops that are going up and over that go all the way through, right through the middle of the shoulder and at the top of the shoulder, starting at the clavicle, through the shoulder onto the back. Then in the green, we have the, the biceps and the, just the rest of the arm muscle that's mostly cylinder that we have a, or cylindrical. So we have a direct circular loop with no, no diversions anywhere. Same thing here, uh, around the entire shoulder, we have this one cylindrical loop or circular loop that follows all the way through. Whereas the rest of them, you'll see them kind of branch off. Now these two red ones, go completely through. But if you look at a lot of the blue ones, you can see we've got a branch here where it's separating out. Uh, same thing here. You know, Even though it's mostly circular here, it would branch off down here, down towards the breast or the chest area, depending on if it's male or female. And so with this structure, it allows us to very easily create anything that we need to. For example, if we wanna go in and accentuate these muscles in here, we can just pull this area out, or if we want to make the shoulder muscles larger, we're able to very easily pop any of these areas out based on our, our topology. The other thing that allows you to do is very easily deform the model because we've got all these loops, such as this one here, that are basically the hinge point. So as we, say, bend this area down, if we rotate around the cursor, and obviously this isn't going to be exact, but as we rotate this down, we're able to use these loops here to soften this transition. So if we were to rotate that down, we could then use this loop to smooth that transition out. And of course these loops here, etc. So having these loops in here allow us to very easily use this area to smooth out those transitions, tighten these up, these loops here that you can see, oops, here, here, and here, 
would allow you to very easily get some wrinkling in here if the arm is down or forward where you're seeing the wrinkles between the shoulder muscles and the pectoral muscles. Same thing along the back. You could very easily use these loops to pinch this area in. We've got enough here to soften this. If we rotate this arm all the way down, these loops would just go straight across, across the back here. For example, we take this area right in here, rotate it down, then you can see that with some some weight painting and such, these areas would be softened up right through here, and so on to allow you to get very smooth deformations during animation. Now obviously that's very, very rough mock-up just now, but you can see how the, the loops allow you to get that. Step back here. In fact, we'll just reopen the model. And so the main thing on, let me just point out a couple of these things just to close up. The main thing with the shoulder is that you've got these loops here, or this main loop that really sections off the shoulder. You can see that if we hide this, we have one main area of the model that is the, the pectoral, the side, the back, the neck. And then you have one area that is all the shoulder muscles extending down onto the arm muscles. That's the one really important loop, but then also the loops here and here that define basically the the volume of the of the shoulder muscle and the sections between the two you'll notice that a couple of these areas here where we have have poles right here right here uh, and and here and here each of these allow you to do very cool things say for example on this pole here we've got the clavicle coming in and then it smooths it out here same thing here these two poles allow you to very easily smooth the transition between the clavicle and the rest of the shoulder muscles, but it also allows you to, if you wanted the, the shoulder muscle, you just make it pop right there, and you've got this form coming in, but then this form coming down. Those poles allow you to very easily get that effect. Same thing on the back, right here is where, you, right here and in these adjacent vertices, is where you would see pinching if you were to say, for example, lift the shoulder all the way up, you would see pinching right, right in here. Uh, we've got this area right here, which is gonna split off for the triceps. So if you are sculpting this area, this controls the topology very nicely so that you can get a lot of detail right in here, a lot of detail in here, but then still keep this nice even flow going right back. Underneath the arm, we've got a very even topology flow that's just going straight down, basically, that allows us to easily create any kind of um, pits or, or valleys or mountains in this area, such as the, the muscle coming down right here. We can pull that out very, very easily. We can pull these up. Since it's a very even topology as well, when it comes to deforming the model for animation, when this bends down, that's pretty much just going to go straight up. Uh, creating the armpit very easily. And so all these different areas in the topology are make it very, very easily easy to both animate and to model this, particularly when it comes to modeling to create all the, the muscle structures. So I highly encourage you, if you're not a citizen member, um, to go ahead and either become a citizen member or to just purchase the source files to this version to study the topology on here. And it's not necessarily perfect. You'd obviously see some variations on this. For example, I made a couple of very um, very simple tweaks from the unwrapping the full body character tutorial on this model. Um, I adjusted this flow to create this full circular mesh and this full circle here that weren't there on my model uh, previously, but even without those, it was still good clean topology. It just made it a little bit better, but I highly encourage you to get hold of the model file, study it, See what you can do to improve your own topology, improve on this model's topology. You know, if you can find ways to make this one even better, more power to you. But the, the real important thing when it really comes down to it here are the continuous edge flows. For example, here, 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 here. Basically throughout this entire model, the complete lack of triangles. There's not a single triangle in this entire mesh. Uh, but then also the even distribution of the polys. The only area that's not pretty much evenly distributed is here, 
and here. And these two areas are not really a problem because they're more transition points. We've got the transition points here where it's stretching out to the bicep where you've got much more stringy muscles. So it's okay that this is a little longer. Same thing here. You know, you're either transitioning from a pectoral muscle or to the woman's breast. It's gonna be pretty smooth even flow there you know you're not going to have a lot of fine details so it's not a problem but then in these areas where we've got the clavicle we've got the neck muscles uh, we've got a much very even nice poly distribution so once again i encourage you to grab the model study it improve on it improve your own topology and more than anything have fun with it topology is one of those things that can be very very frustrating at first uh, and even frustrating for a very long time. But once you get a grasp on it, once you get a grasp on how it can flow around the body, it can be very, very rewarding to create a model with good sound topology that allows you to very easily create all the detail that you need, create the forms, and also to animate it with nice deformations. So hope you enjoyed this and good luck.